Okay, I got a lot to say. <laughs> what else is new? What is it with guys nowadays? Like, why are we both competing to be princesses? Can I be the only woman in the relationship? Is that okay with you? Okay, so you get the obvious point of that video. Sort of internalized misogyny. Grasping the fact that being feminine is in any way a bad thing. And anyone that attaches themselves to complete femininity or complete masculinity is just insecure with their own. Then obviously you have that Emily King creator. And if you follow her, you know her kind of content. Generally she speaks, sorry, but more on the incel-ish side. Not to say she doesn't sometimes have good takes, but you know. The men in her comment section are toxic as fuck. To give you a sort of example, she kind of leads with this. Then you ask, you expect me to chase you, like, men are just asking for a little bit of effort to be reciprocated. Just enough to show them that you like him and that you're not entertaining ten other guys at the same time. Also, guys don't play hard to get. He probably just reached out initially because he found you to be attractive. But men also want someone that shows effort in conversation. So that makes sense on the face of it. It's very surface level thought but you know like it's completely negating the fact that men also impose ridiculous expectations upon women far more so in fact and when the left specifically sort of talks about patriarchal standards sexism and misogyny it doesn't necessarily obviously imply that it's your fault but indirectly same as racism and everything else us cis hetero white men benefit from a system that is more so stacked in our favor. Yes, it's still shit. But here's what my problem with this sort of content is. Giving relationship advice, what men want when women want, is the same sort of principle standard of black people are like this, Muslims are like this. People are not a monolith. And so to use any of this as advice for the individual people that you meet in life is prejudgment. Because I got news for you. People are wildly different. Not one person has the same personality. You are not special. You are unique, though. And all any of us want across any relationship, whether it be a relationship through race, religion, cultural region, gender... It's really, really simple. People just want to be respected. So if you want respect, try giving it. Disrespect should be earned. Like, cause, uh, let's be realistic here. The vast majority of heteronormative relationships, men expect way more than that in a relationship. And again, don't whine. Not to say women don't expect things from men as well. We all have our own internalized biases that we get from the media and the patriarchal society that we live in. But the biases that men hold towards women are exponentially more profound. Women are expected, generally speaking, to do all of the childcare, do all of the housework, or a good chunk of it anyway. And men employ weaponized incompetence or just flat out don't do it. Usually with the excuse like, oh, I worked a physical job all day and there's no way your job could actually, you know, require work. Like, especially, I, I've taken care of toddlers before. I'd do anything else. Now, if they were mine, different story, but, you know, still, it's a lot of taxing work. You have to watch them constantly. All while trying to multitask and get other things around the house done. But... Us as men have benefited from the free labor of women for so long that we don't even pay it any mind. That was a woman's role. Then we constantly, through media framing and the ridiculous standards of beauty that we expect women to match up to, they're constantly told they're too loud, they're too quiet, they're too fat, they're too thin, they're not wearing enough makeup, they're wearing too much makeup. Now I've lived on this earth as a guy for 31 years now. Do you know what the biggest double standards or expectations or just assumptions being a man well, essentially i get asked because of my size a lot to do anything involving strength now i like doing it it's no big deal to me i have two woman friends that i help with gardening 
often. I'll help them lift and move anything around their house. Some construction stuff sometimes. I'm expected to know how to fix stuff. Which, don't get me wrong, even though I hate doing that stuff sometimes, it's, it's come in handy. A lot of life skills. Basically what I'm getting at is the... I don't really view them as anywhere near as harmful as what we expect from women. Right? Like, it's annoying at best. For women, it causes actual harm. Just saying, the overall point of this is one size does not fit all. You have a certain number of things that you dictate to be a big deal or not to you. So apply those standards to the individual person, regardless of whatever kind of relationship you're going for. And if your needs aren't being met, then communicate it. Otherwise, fuck off. There's my advice.